Hey, Christine, are you there? Hey, are you there? Did you just get home? Hello? Hello? Come on, answer me, will you? Come on, stop being difficult. Why won't you tell me where you went? Luke, are you okay? I just got your messages now. What's going on? Maybe you're working now. That's okay, you can get back to me after you finish, no problem. No, I'm fine now. No problem. I'm actually free in the afternoon. I don't have any plans or anything. Oh, is that so? I didn't know. That's good to hear. Then, what are you doing right now? Are you home? Yeah, that's right. I'm home right now, just hanging out. I'm home, but Christine isn't here. It's just me. It looks like she went out or something. I don't really know what she's doing, to be honest with you. Oh, is that right? That's too bad. Talk about bad timing. Oh well, maybe it would be better if I reach back out to you later this evening. How does that sound? Wait, what? Did something happen? What's going on? You don't have to wait for Christine. You can always just ask me whatever it is you need to ask. Maybe I can help you out. I was thinking about stopping over there tomorrow sometime. I got so many different things from the neighbors recently, so I figured why not come by and share it with you and Christine? Ah, I see. That makes sense. If that's the case, it may be better to reach out to Christine directly. She doesn't do too well with text messages. You may get a quicker answer if you just call her directly. Oh, thanks for the heads up. I guess I didn't really think about that. Well, no problem. I'll just tell you and you can relay the information to her. Sometime tomorrow afternoon, I'll come by your house. Well, okay, yeah. I guess that could work. Great, sounds good. Then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please make sure you let her know I'm coming. Most people hate it when people come unannounced or without any sort of appointment. Right, right. Don't worry. I understand. I'm on it. Hey, Luke. Sorry, sorry, sorry for getting back to you so late. I completely lost track of time. I was so busy shopping, I didn't even notice you were trying to get a hold of me. Sorry again. But anyway, wait a second. Were you off this afternoon or something? Why weren't you busy working? Finally, you finally respond. I was starting to get a little worried. What do you mean was I off? Didn't I tell you I would be? I had a lot of vacation hours I needed to burn, so I figured I would take off this afternoon. That's news to me. This is the first time hearing about anything like this. If I had known you were off, I would have let you know I went out shopping so you wouldn't be wondering where I was or trying to get a hold of me like you were. Oh, I'm completely sorry about that. My fault. I guess it completely slipped my mind to tell you about it. Anyway, are you still out shopping right now or are you all finished? Isn't it a bit later than usual for you? Were you busy or were the stores just super crowded today? Oh well, about that... To be honest, the only thing I had on my agenda for today wasn't just shopping around. Until just a little while ago, I was actually at the bank for quite some time. What? The bank? What were you doing at the bank? Not too much. I just had to take care of a few wire transfers and had to make sure to balance my checkbook. You know, the usual stuff. Oh, really? Well, I guess that doesn't sound like anything too serious. In any case, hurry and come back home. It's getting pretty late. Besides, Mom called us a little while ago, too. She said she's coming over here tomorrow afternoon sometime for a visit. She has a few things she wants to give us, too. What? Oh, geez, no way. Tomorrow? Really? Does it really have to be tomorrow? Did she say what time she'd be coming over in the afternoon? Not really. All she said was that she would be over sometime in the afternoon. If I know her, that means it'll probably end up being a little later in the afternoon, if I had to guess. Oh, I see. Well, that's just great. That means I won't be able to watch my favorite TV show tomorrow night then, I guess. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't you have enough of being a housewife? It'll be nice to have company over for once, don't you think? Don't say such ridiculous things like that, Lou. You know better. How many times do I need to tell you? I'm not just a housewife. I work from home. Just because I work remotely doesn't mean I'm a housewife. Well, I guess they do have some similarities. I'm always home after all, so I guess I could be looked at as a housewife. But I still work. 
I just like to spend my free time doing the things I like to do. Is that such a crime? Well, no, I guess that is fine. I'm not trying to bring you down or anything like that. But anyway, my mom will be coming tomorrow, so please make sure you're here and greet her properly. Because I actually won't be around tomorrow. Gosh, you really are the worst. You always do this. I guess I can take a vacation day tomorrow, so I won't have to worry about work when your mom is here. Yeah, she just kind of sprung it on me that she'll be coming over tomorrow. It's too bad. If we knew a little bit ahead of time, we could have prepared properly and taken the day off. But unfortunately, I just heard she was coming just a little while ago. So I mean, it's not my fault. It can't really be helped at this point. Sometimes you just have to roll with the punches. So like I said, please make sure you're here and treat my mom properly. Make sure she has a good time and isn't bored either. It's fine, I guess. I don't mind. But this isn't the first time we had to go over this, Luke. I always say have your mom just contact me directly. It would be so much easier than having to hear this information from you all the time. No, you're right. And I know you always say that. I actually told her to reach out to you directly too. But I guess for some reason she just didn't feel like doing it. I don't really know. Maybe she was a little embarrassed reaching out to you, so she just went to me instead. Who knows? Embarrassed just to contact me? That's a bit extreme. But whatever, tell your mom, Tori, that it's fine if she comes over tomorrow, no problem. But anyway, I'll be home in a little while. Okay, okay, sounds good. See you when you get back home. Hey Luke, are you there? It's your mother. Are you working today? What? Yeah, I'm working right now. What's up, Mom? Did something happen? Is everything okay? Ah, I see. Well, I'm not really sure how to tell you this. But, to be honest, I'm really in quite the pinch this month. Is there any chance you think you can help me out a little bit? Even the smallest amount would make a difference. What do you mean you're in a pinch? Is everything okay over there, Mom? And what do you mean by you need assistance? Are you talking about money? Do you need to borrow some money from me or something? Bingo, you guessed it. That's exactly what I'm telling you, son. What else would I be talking about at a time like this? Obviously, it's money. This month has really been bad to your mother. I'm just barely scraping by. It's been a bit of a nightmare, to say the least. So I was wondering, is it possible you can loan me at least $500 or so? I mean, you know I would help you in any way I could, Mom. It's just I think it would be bad if I don't check with Christine first. I would definitely want her to check with me if one of her parents was asking her for money. Why don't we bring this to her and see what she says about it? Hey, hold on a second. What are you talking about, Luke? I came to you and asked you for help. Besides, aren't I always there for you when you need help? I always am the first one to help you. I'd give you the last dollar I had if you needed it. So how dare you tell me to ask your wife? Why would you say such a ridiculous thing? Well, yeah, of course I know you would. I know you helped us out a few times in the past too. But this is a little different. I have Christine handling our finances and expenses recently. So that's why it's best if I check with her. It would be really difficult to just take money from our account without telling her. She would surely question it. Jeez, do you hear what you're saying? Do you even hear yourself, Luke? Gosh, now it makes sense why she told me no when I asked her before. Damn that stingy wife of yours. She is so annoying. Wait a minute. What do you mean when you asked her before? You mean to tell me when you came over here about a week ago, you asked Christine for money? Seriously? Wait, what? Did I say that? Hold on a second, Luke. That is why I always say it's much easier to talk to you guys when you're there, Luke. You're so much easier to talk to than she is. Things have really gotten out of hand over here, and rather quickly, too. And so that is why you reached out to me. Yes, that's right. That is exactly what your mother did. From the very beginning, I thought to come to you for help first. But you always tell me you need to check with your wife, right? Like you did just before. Didn't you just say she'd get angry if you were to loan me any money? Well, yeah, I guess you are right. So I remembered that. I remembered what you told me, so that is why I asked Christine for help. I can't stand it! 
Why do I need to ask your wife anytime I need a small favor? It's ridiculous, Luke. It really is so annoying having to go through her every single time. Not to mention, even though I did what you said and asked her, she flat out refused to help me. Can you believe that? So that's why I felt like I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know what to tell you, Mom. I mean, if Christine says no, then I can't just go against her and give you money. It wouldn't be right. Oh, come on, Luke. Cut it out. Besides, you work hard every day, don't you? Don't you have some money of your own saved up somewhere? I'm sure you do. You never know when you'll need it for something important. Surely you don't have to check with Christine when it comes to your own money? That's not a stretch to think, is it? It's not strange at all for a husband to have his own money he saved up that his wife doesn't know about. Well, yeah, I mean, I do have some money saved, a little bit at least. I would think it would be 100% strange if you didn't. Besides, if you did tell me you're allowed to have your own savings, then I may even change my opinion of Christine right now. I would think she loosened the reins a little bit on your life and is taking a step in the right direction. What? Loosened the reins? Are you implying I am whipped? That's not the case at all, Mom. I just think Christine is smart and handles money much better than I do is all. No, that's not it. That's not what I mean. Come on, Christine is a housewife, isn't she? And yet she still has an unbreakable grip on the money that you bring home? Think about it. Isn't it true that she's just hogging your entire salary? I don't think so, Mom. There is no way that's what is happening between Christine and I. Gosh, son, you are too soft on Christine. It's obvious you give her way too much credit. I am your mother and her mother-in-law. The right thing for her to do would to be respectfully agree to help me out and let me borrow just a little bit of money. But no, she flat out refuses to help her mother-in-law. All she does is hog all the money you earn and uses it however she wants. I'm not wrong about that, Luke, am I? Come on, Mom, knock it off. You're totally off base here. No, I'm not. And because you aren't careful around her, I'm warning you she is completely taking advantage of your kindness. That is Christine's goal at the end of the day anyway. Take advantage of your generosity and use your money however she pleases. Think about it. Doesn't she do that, Luke? Well, I mean, maybe a little bit. Sometimes here and there. That's why I'm just asking you for help instead. I'm just asking for a measly $500. I'll be just fine after that. It's only $500. It's not like I'm sitting here asking you for thousands of dollars or anything. So come on, please help your mother out. Well, what do you say, Luke? Gosh, I don't know, Mom. You are really putting me in a difficult position, honestly. If I just withdraw any money, there is no doubt she will see it. Oh, hey, wait a second. That's right, I just remembered something. What is it? Did you remember something good that'll help us out in this situation? I mean, it's not necessarily a way around deceiving her and taking money from the account. But I just remembered I have a bank book of my own for my own personal savings. I can't believe I almost forgot about it. But to be honest, Christine pretty much handles this one too. What? You have your own bank book for your own personal savings? Well, yeah, of course I do. I forgot about it, though. I hardly use it after all. I usually just focus on our joint account and put money into that one instead. So if it's just $500 you need, I may be able to figure something out. Oh my gosh, really, Luke? That's great. That's so great. You're such a lifesaver. Well, I mean, if while we're at it, do you think you can loan your mother around $1,000 instead? To be honest, that'd probably be of much more help to me. Hold on, Mom. A thousand dollars is a lot of money. I think that might be a little too much for me to give you. Didn't you say you only needed five hundred dollars to begin with? Chances are Christine is probably going to find out about this anyway. So thinking about it that way, being busted for loaning only five hundred dollars as opposed to a thousand dollars would be much easier. Okay, fine, fine. I understand. Relax, will you? Trembling at the thought of your wife like that, you should be ashamed of yourself. Anyway, you being able to do this for me helps me out so much, son. It would have been great if Christine could have just agreed to help me out from the start, though. Well, what can I say? Like you said, she can be pretty stingy at times. 
Be honest, mom. When you asked to borrow money from her, was that your first time asking her for anything? What do you mean? My first time asking Christine, you mean? Yes, just as I said. Was that the first time you asked Christine for a favor like this? Yeah, of course, you know that. After all, I always go to you when I need help. There's no way I can go to your wife and ask for help the way I come to you. You are my son, after all. Absolutely. I just wanted to make sure, that's all. Anyway, I'll check my bank book and get the money you need tomorrow. Besides, I have work tomorrow, too. So, on my lunch break, I'll withdraw the money you need and give it to you on my way home. On your lunch break? Okay, that sounds perfect. Thank you so much for your help, Luke. So, it's a plan. I will see you tomorrow. Hey, Christine, are you there? When you see this message, please get back to me as soon as you can. It's really important. Hey, what is it? Is everything okay? Are you going to be late or something? I mean, if you come home now, it'll be fine. It's still not too late yet. I have to ask you a question. You're always nagging me about money and how I use it and all that. But what are you doing with my money behind my back? Why aren't you telling me? What are you talking about? Are you saying I'm being sneaky with your money behind your back? Today, when I left the house, I took my bank book with me. What? You took it with you? Why would you do that? I'll fill you in on all the details later. This is... That isn't what's important right now. We have a separate issue we need to discuss, Christine. I checked my bank book today while I was at work. I was extremely surprised by what I found. What is going on here, Christine? Every month there is a $500 wire transfer. What is that for? Oh, that. Well, I can explain that. That's my allowance for doing the chores around the house every day. I think that's what I deserve. An allowance? Are you kidding me? My god, you doing something like this behind my back is bad enough. But is this why you refused to help my mother when she came to you and asked you for $500? Is that why you refused? Is that what you heard from your mom? That's right. She came to me too, asking for help. But we already went through this before. This isn't the first time she came to us for help with something. I remember last time you were annoyed and you told her to ask you first instead next time she needs a favor. That is what you said, right? You remember? She remembered what you said last time, so that is why my mom came to you first this time. She did what you asked and yet you still refused to give her any money? Isn't that right? Gosh, and yet you still gave yourself an allowance every month for doing chores around the house. Well, yeah, I guess so. You're right. It's true I refused to help your mom out when she came to me and asked. But that's all. I don't know what you're talking about with everything else, though, Luke. Think about it from my perspective, Christine. She came to you asking for help. You know that couldn't have been easy for her to do. But you refused. She is my mother. Put yourself in my shoes. Don't you understand how I feel? When my mom told me that my own wife refused to help her out, I almost felt ashamed. I was miserable. But Luke, listen to me. No, that's enough. I'm not listening to what you have to say about the situation anymore. I get it now. I now know full well that you have no problem sending your own parents $500 a month. But when it comes to my mother, you're reluctant to do so. I understand you perfectly now. Well, okay, I understand what you're saying. And you may think that you're right in what you're claiming right now, Luke. But if you think about how things have been between your mother and I up until now, then isn't it only natural how I reacted? No, that's enough. I'm not listening to any more of your nonsense. I want a divorce. We are getting a divorce. Wait, what? A divorce? Are you kidding me right now? You failed me as a wife. So damn right I want a divorce right now. It's pointless for us to go any further. There is no reconciling this relationship at this point. To be honest, I have been as patient as I can be, putting up with your nonsense all the way until now. Luke, what are you saying? You can't be serious. The one who's been patient and putting up with the other's nonsense is me, not you. Now it's my turn to ask, what in the world are you talking about? You are my wife and supposed to be on my side, but all you do is cause problems between me and my mother. And in return, you expect me to treasure your parents and treat them with respect? Gosh, what are you, some sort of coward? 
You are so selfish, Christine. Coward? Who is the real coward here, Luke? Are you kidding? Do you know how hard it has been for me to deal with and put up with your nonsense? I've had some horrible thoughts because of it. Blah, blah, blah. All you do is whine. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. No one is listening to you anymore. You won't have to worry about putting up with me anymore, so don't worry. Anyway, I won't be coming back anymore. What do you mean you won't be coming back? Coming back where? More importantly, where is the bank book? You left the house with it earlier. What are you planning on doing with it? You know what? It doesn't matter. Give it back to me right now, Luke. You're kidding. There is no way I would give it back to you after everything you put me through. Like I said before, this money is mine, not yours. So I will do whatever I want with it. I can't believe you sometimes. You know, for a housewife, you sure are quite arrogant sometimes. That's why I keep telling you that you're right, Luke. My salary was also put into that same bank account. That's why I'm telling you not to just do whatever you want since you have our bank book. Besides, if you don't listen to me about this, don't you think things would get a little more difficult for us? Don't make me laugh. What are you, some sort of idiot or something? Look at how much is in this account. With a salary like yours, there is no way you could have saved this much. Stop joking around. Anyway, that's enough talking with you. See you later. You should pack your things and prepare to stay with your parents for a little while too, by the way. What? Wait a second, Luke. Hey, Mom, it's me. I'm sorry. Since I'm going to divorce Christine, it looks like she'll be staying at her parents for a while. Wait, slow down one second. Did you say you were getting a divorce? Why in the world did it come to that? A divorce is pretty serious, Luke. Right, right. I know, Mom. Please, listen to me. It turns out she was actually giving her parents a monthly allowance. To make things worse, it was $500 a month. Can you believe that? What? Are you kidding me? She was giving her parents $500 a month? And that woman wouldn't even give me a single dollar to help me out of the bind that I'm in? Yes, that's right. Isn't it awful? I couldn't believe it. She tried to make excuses for it and all that, but I wasn't listening. I told her I want a divorce instead. Then she went on trying to tell me about how she works and has a job or whatever. How ridiculous. All she does is work from home. That is barely doing any work at all. But she is so greedy for money as usual. She even demanded I give her back our bank book. I could barely believe it. Seriously, Mom, what a waste of time that woman was. Gosh, what a horrible girl. You put up with her nonsense long enough. Oh well, get a divorce or do whatever you want. You know what's best for you, son. So anyway, enough about Christine. Let's talk about this bank book you have. About how much money is in the account, do you think? Let me check. It's about $50,000. Wow, great job, son. That's quite a lot. Well, let's not beat around the bush here, especially now that Christine is out of the picture. How much do you think I can use from that account, son? Oh, come on, Mom. Of course you can use all of it. No problem at all. Wow, all of it. Are you sure, Luke? Well, of course, be smart about it. Don't borrow too much or anything. Oh, of course, honey. I would never do that to you. That's money you worked so hard for. I will be smart with how I use it. Don't you worry about a thing. But you do have quite a lot there. Maybe it could be fun to splurge just a little bit. What do you think? Well, I guess it is okay. As long as you splurge just a little bit, of course. Sounds like a plan. Let's go all out this weekend then and have a great time. While I'm at it, maybe I'll buy a couple things I had my eye on for a while. Oh, that sounds great. I am so on board with that plan. Great, I'm happy to hear that. Now that I think about it, do you think Christine will come after you for money after the divorce? What? Money after the divorce? Why would she be entitled to any of that? Well, a lot of times, courts look at who is the stronger of the two when it comes to salary and who makes the most money. So divorces due to money issues are pretty common. So if she tries to sue you for any sort of damages or anything like that, you never know what way it'll go. She may end up taking a good chunk of your money, son. Wow, when you put it like that, you may be right. I never thought of it like that. 
I had such a small allowance to spend on things I really wanted, gosh, so many things about being with her were really inconvenient. If that's the reason I give for the divorce, they really may side with her and she may end up taking all my money. Gosh, good thinking, Mom. You are so smart. Don't worry, sweetie. I have your back. We won't let her take any of it. Anyway, just you wait. Today, I'm preparing something grand for you. Grander than ever. All right, Mom. I can't wait. You really are the best. Well, I'll be home at around 6 tonight. Can't wait to see you then. Luke, it's your mother. Answer me. You spoke to Christine's parents? What are you talking about? I haven't spoken to them, Mom. Well, they called me, but I didn't answer it. Anyway, what's up? What are you asking about her parents for? You need to reach out to them as soon as you can, Luke. What in the world is happening? You need to get to the bottom of it. The story they heard is completely different from the truth. What? I don't really know what you're saying right now, Mom. Besides, I'm in the middle of work right now, too. Well, you'll have to explain to your job that you need to step away for a bit and call them back immediately. If you just ignore them like this, things will get really ugly. I just know it. What, really? Things are that bad? Okay, fine. I understand. I'll reach out to them now and take care of it. Christine, are, are you there? It's me, Luke. Please, I'm begging you. Please answer back. Please. God, you're so annoying. What in the world could you possibly want now, Luke? I'm just finally able to relax and I'm hanging out. Why are you bugging me right now of all times? Stop bothering me already. I have nothing left to say to you. Uh, I am sorry. I am so sorry to bother you. I spoke to your dad today for the first time in a while. And he told me your parents took over paying for my debt. Is that true? Oh, so my dad told you that, did he? Well, as for me, I'm just happy with staying divorced from you. But why? Please tell me why they would decide to do that, especially considering we are divorcing. Is it because he's trying to pay me back the $500 monthly allowance you gave them every month? Is that why? Well, I guess that could be the reason. I have no idea. Why don't you just ask my dad properly instead of coming to me with annoying questions? He's a grown man. He'll do what he wants with his money. Oh, yeah, I guess that is true, too. Three years ago, I discovered your debt. It was huge, Luke. It was $60,000. I couldn't believe it. Oh, yeah, well, I know. It, it was a lot. If you didn't pay it off in a lump sum, the interest rate would have been through the roof. So I took it upon myself to ask my parents for help, and they lent me the money, once they calmed down, of course. Oh, really? Is that right? I had no idea about that. It was so embarrassing for me, begging my parents for money like that. Actually, I told you about all of this once before. Looks like you just conveniently forgot all about it. Huh? You told me? When? Come on, I would think if you told me something as important as this, I would definitely remember. There is no way I would forget that conversation, Christine. Give me a break. Well, I don't remember the exact date and time of when I told you about all of this. But it was after I discovered the crippling debt. I told you my parents agreed to take over paying for it to help us out. And you, as happy as can be, said it's perfect because you can now go out and be a playboy without having to worry about money anymore. Wow, really? Is that what I said? Are you really trying to play dumb? Do you really think you can get out of this by just simply pretending you don't remember? Did you really think you wouldn't have to pay any of that money back? Oh, oh, that's right. I, I remember now. Silly me. You are absolutely right. I feel like I remember us having that conversation now. So you mean to tell me at the time, the money that we got was really from... You mean the $60,000? You mean you planned on just taking it and that would be the end of it? Gosh, are you even an adult? I feel like I'm talking to a child sometimes. You didn't give a second thought about returning the money, did you? You put no effort into how you would eventually pay it back. No, no, that's not it at all. I just thought maybe we got extremely lucky or something like that. Gosh, I'm so tired of you. 
Simply just talking to you is a chore in itself. You always said your allowance was far too small. You also weren't able to just withdraw money anytime you chose. It was because of your debt. It's on your record and marked as a previous offense. But that's not even the worst part of it. The worst part is the reason for your debt. It was the end result of you always having to show off for your mother of all people and always give her money at any time she asked for it. I bet you didn't tell your mother about that part, did you? That you had to borrow money because by helping her out, you gave her all the money you had? And because you never told her no, she always came to you without a care in the world and asked for money because she knew you would always say yes. Gosh, Christine, I'm really sorry about all of this. I would like to take back everything I said to you before, please. Why don't we get together and try talk all of this over? What do you say? What? Why in the world would I want to get together with you to discuss anything? Because, Christine, I don't want to get a divorce anymore. I was wrong. I think that if you're not around in my life anymore, it'll probably end up pretty bad for me. Also, my mom said she wanted to apologize to you for this whole mess. Also to your parents, we would like to apologize to them as well. I could have sworn I already said this to you before. But my parents and I are on the same page in all of this. And honestly, we don't genuinely believe that you and your mother want to change your ways at all. What? Wait, come on, please give me another chance. You said you want to get together and talk? But what in the world do we have to talk about? There is nothing to discuss. Your plan to just cling on to simply telling me you don't want to get a divorce, and that's it? Jeez, that seems quite desperate to me. It just doesn't seem genuine, to be honest. It's really because if we get a divorce, it'll end quite difficultly for you, right? You and your mom are two peas in a pod. A wasteful son and a wasteful mother who doesn't understand the value of a dollar. With a family like that, it's only a matter of time before the family breaks down and just collapses. Wait a second, Christine. Please, I I'm begging you. I will do anything. Please, just name it and I will do it. Anything at all. Stop begging others for help. That's all you do is beg others to help you without trying to do anything yourself. You need to stand on your own two feet and ask what you can do for yourself for once. But either way, the decision to divorce is final. Please, Christine, there has to be some way to make you change your mind about this. The account linked to the bank book that you have, give me half of what's in the account. After that, you can pay back my parents for all the money they used to cover you for your debt. And if there is anything left over, I'll be taking that for damages caused by the divorce. What? No way. Please, Christine, give me another chance. Absolutely not. You understand why, don't you? Even you could understand something as simple as this. It's because the reason for our divorce is due to stress when it comes to our finances. But please, give me a break. I can't pay all of that. That would be impossible for me. I'm telling you, it would be impossible. Especially for me. There is no way I can go through with all of that. No, it's not impossible. You will do it. You have no choice in the matter. You have to do it. If you refuse, we can take it to court and see what the judge has to say about this whole thing. So after that, Luke continued to reach out to me for over a week, begging for some sort of reconciliation in our relationship. I couldn't begin to tell you how many times he came to my parents' house just to try talking with me but I ignored him every time he came by. I don't have anything to say to him. I reached out to a lawyer who advised I'm entitled to every one of my conditions and that this matter could be settled out of court. After the divorce, Luke had no choice but to return to his mom's house and live there. Between the two of them, they weren't able to save any money on their own. To the surprise of no one, they're in a desperate financial situation right now. It wouldn't surprise me if they try to take out another loan or borrow more money from someone else. As for me, my life has become a lot more peaceful and relaxed. I'm just passing the time at my parents' house and spending time with them. Once things from the divorce settle down a little more, I'm thinking about finding a place for myself so I can live on my own. But for now, I'm thinking I just want to do my job from my parents' house for a little while. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment.
बाय